In response to a video that I recently made, I saw that some of you guys requested a tutorial on how to install LatteDoc 0.10, so here it is. Now keep in mind, this is beta software, and I'm not sure when the final release is going to come out, um, but it will contain many bugs, and in my experience, it hasn't crashed yet, um, but it did contain um, a multitude of visual glitches and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind. Now, another thing to keep in mind is for this video, I'll be using a clean install of Kubuntu 20.04 to showcase this installation. And there are instructions for different uh, distributions. So keep that in mind as well. So because we're using Kubuntu, we have to add the backports for KDE. So if you don't know what this is, this is basically a repository which adds the latest stable release for KDE software. And if we do this, we're going to have the um, most up-to-date KDE software just like KDE Neon. And keep in mind, this is also um, on the Kubuntu website. So these aren't, this isn't just some random repository. Now, if we open up a terminal, we can enter these three commands one after the other, and it should take about five minutes to complete. I've already done this prior to recording, so uh, to save some time. And also for your convenience, I'm going to, um, in the description, I'm going to add all links and uh, commands that you're going to need for this video. Now for the second set of instructions for Kubuntu, we can see that uh, we have some dependencies to install now. Now I tried entering this command here um, and getting it to install prior to making my customization video, uh, but that didn't work. Uh, I realized that um, for this version of Latte Doc, it's going to require a lot more dependencies than you would think. So here on kde.org, we have um, all dependencies. And if you scroll down, you can see that this is a lot of dependencies. Um, now I have, again, for your convenience, I have um, this command here that I'm going to uh, try to leave in the description because when I entered this command to install all of them, uh, there was about six or seven um, dependencies that were outdated um, and they just um, they didn't install. So I had to manually remove them from the com command. So that's why I'm going to uh, give you guys an easier install command here instead of having to manually remove uh, those obsolete dependencies. So what you have to do is copy the text and enter it as a command here. And again, I have all of this already installed. And once you have all of this, you're basically set up to start installing Latte Doc. Now I have the tab open here for the 0 0.10 release. So once you go on this web page, uh, there's this green button here. You can click on it and it's going to give you the link that you could copy. And then when you go to your terminal, let's clear that up. You can type git clone and then enter the link. Um, Again, I've also done this as well to save some time, but uh, this is going to take some time as well. Um, and this should work by default, um, but if it doesn't, you might be missing git. So you could do sudo apt install git if you're missing that. Now, once you've entered this command, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a new folder appear in your home folder, and that is the latte doc. Now there's two things to notice. Um, First is the readme file, which is the file that I had open up prior to everything else. And there's also an installation file. Um, my bad, I had the installation file open. There's also a readme file, which I haven't had open. Um, and this gives you guys um, a bit of more information that you could uh, take a look at. Now, in order to install this thing, what you have to do is right click somewhere and click on actions and then open terminal here. And the only command you have to type up is sh install.sh and then let that run. Now this is the only thing that I haven't done. Now keep in mind for me, it's working from the first attempt, but here's what can happen. 
if it gives you errors and it doesn't reach the part where the text starts getting colorful, um, what, what you can do is you're going to get a build folder. Now, if again, it doesn't reach this point, then something went wrong and it does tell you what went wrong. Um, so what you can do is select the folder and then move it to the trash can so that when you go back to the terminal, you can try again. You can run the sh install.sh command again. Um, because otherwise, if you still have the folder, it won't let you redo that. So I had two errors um, when doing this. So after entering, after installing this large set of dependencies here, um, I tried doing sh install.sh and it did not work. So if it doesn't work for you, then there are two commands that I had to run um, in order to get it to work. So this terminal right here, if it doesn't work, then leave it open. Leave it open and in a separate terminal, open it up. And again, I'm going to leave these in the description. You copy them and you paste them. And then you just press enter. Once you press enter for this one that says export CMake prefix, uh, this one just runs and that's it instantaneously. And then this one, sudo apt install libxcb. Uh, this one is a dependency that um, is not added to the previous list. Um, so again, these dependencies, once you install them, and if you run these commands as well, um, it should for sure work because um, with all, all of these three commands combined, as you can see, it's building just fine without a problem. Uh, so this is a good thing for the latest version of Kubuntu. It ships with uh, Git, so you don't have to install that separately. Um, it's just the only thing you have to do is as the, um, PDF here suggests you have to add the backports as the very first thing, then you install these dependencies in the terminal. And if you want, you can also, uh, enter these two commands as well before doing anything else. But, uh, again, if you do have an error, uh, then I do recommend entering these two sets of commands here. Um, and once you've done that, and again, if, if it did fail for you, um, you remove the build folder and you go back to your terminal that was opened within the latte doc folder and you go ahead and you run the command again, sh install.sh. And once you've done that, the green text should start appearing and uh, you'll see the percentages here um, of how much is left to completion. And at that point, you're going to have the latte doc installed. So I'm going to skip ahead to after having everything uh, complete. Okay, so all in all, I would say it takes about five minutes. So once it reaches the end, it asks for your password. So you just enter that really quickly and it should be installed. So you can close up the terminal window and the file manager as well. And if we go to the start menu and type up latte, as you can see, it appears and it should appear at the bottom and there it is. So if you right click on it, click at a doc, um, you have all your features and settings. And if you enable the advanced mode and go to appearance, uh, as we can see, there is this screen option here. And if we manipulate that setting, we can have uh, floating docs. And there's also um, a lot of other features that are supported. So you can uh, go ahead and test it out and uh, adjust it to your liking. So that was basically it. Hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, that was basically it. Thank you for watching.